Hello, hello everyone, it's Ike here and welcome back to the next episode of Scrap a Mechanic. And actually in this episode I think I'll just stay in the main menu because what I want to try is I want to try to spawn a farm but here in the main menu as you know now you can actually edit the main menu and put some of your creations here on this platform. And also there was updates so there's a lot more stuff new. Of course, one of them is that you can spin the CJ around and there's also, oh it's only in the gameplay, basically you can change the physics. If you have only like static buildings you can, let's actually go in the editor, if you have static buildings you can set the uh, physics, let me see, are they here? Yeah, gameplay, physics quality you can set to 1 and then the game runs a lot better, but that's of course only if you have, if you have like static buildings, but for the cars, it just simply ruins everything. But why the challenge will be here to place the farm bot is because, well, if you don't know, first of all, if you don't know and you live under the rock, there was update. You can go in the test branch on the Steam and enable the test branch, and then you can access. Then you have access to these capsules here, and you can spawn them. So uh, let's actually spawn the farm bot. Well, yeah, and why the challenge is, it's because there is no connection tool, so you can't like a shoot or anything to this because once you hit it, see, it opens and there is a farm, but... So what I will try to achieve is, I'll try to place the explosives in there, so once the world gets loaded... What's really loud? When the game, when the world gets loaded, the explosive will fall down, will fall down and will explode and hit the farm, but so let's put it like this. Let's actually put it a little bit closer. I'm not quite sure if this will work, but I just really want to test. Because I see everyone just making these like a totally accurate battle simulators with the farm, but, but I want to do something different, so let's try it like this. So let's just test if I remove this one. Alright, it does. What? Didn't work it? Wait, why it didn't work? It worked before. Maybe it needs to be in closer. Alright, let's make it something like this. Let's try one more time. Maybe let's add a fence here. I really hate my mouse. It's glitching out that it releases and double clicks very often. It's really, which is really annoying. All right, so now it's a lot closer. Um, why it doesn't work? Because if I just place like this, and so let's see, like this, it will work, or it doesn't. That's so weird because it did work, at least in the in the creative world. Let's try with the small one. I was really confident that it will work. But let's actually, before we go any further, let's try and save it, so... Just to see if it actually falls in the main menu as well. Alright, let's place it like this. And now if I leave, the, the lift should disappear. Let's save it. This lift should disappear and let's see what happens when we are... No, it doesn't fall down. So it's really... So, it's really like just static, which sucks. I was really hoping to find a way to hit the farm, but actually to get the farms here in the main menu. Let's blow it up. Yeah, it still doesn't work. And if I hit now, I guess it doesn't count. Hmm, what what other options do we have? Yeah, because in the script, I check it, it should work. Let's actually go in the... Exit. Let's go in the creative mode and see if it actually works with the creative mode, create castle world, new world. Alright, so let's go and place them in the creative world. So with this explosive, let's put it next to it. Alright, it should open. Wait, it also didn't open. I'm pretty sure. I could open them with 
with explosives. Hmm. Let's just put a little bit further back so maybe the hit is not that big. Because, yeah, I checked the script and there was only also on explosion. Should done, but can also, I'm pretty sure I managed to make them make it explode like open with the explosives. Let's try to put on top. Hmm, that's quite strange. And with the Vox, let's see, maybe there's some limitation for them. Although they are packages had the same. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> I just opened. Because our packages have the same script. Yeah, it just flow away. But it's so nice that they finally added the water in the creative world. Maybe some suspension or some bearing. Yeah, let's... Well, we can't connect... Although, we don't... We don't really need to connect anything. We just need to somehow hit. Alright, let's go in the main menu again and try one more time. Right, let's remove it and see if we actually have bearing. Um, interactive. Oh, we don't have bearing. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, we don't have bearing main menu. What I thought is I'll make some kind of like a like a bridge or something on bearing until they hit the explosive. I guess they have thought about everything. Let's try to put it... Hmm. How high it needs to be for it to hit? I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's try it like this. No, it doesn't doesn't work that way and what if i well i already tried it but what if i just release him save and exit and see now will he be there because after well no of course he was because after all it's just a world another game mode let's see do we have anything else how to interact with them blueprints actually i can So I can get bearings. And I can make a connection. Let's see, let, let me just build this one. Right, so we have bearing, although it won't really help us in any way. Although it could help. Let's try it. Do we have weld tool here? Alright, we have weld tool. Right, so what we need is a bearing bit. Right, so we got our bearing. Let's go and weld it. Let's see, where's the bearing? On underneath? Yeah, the bearing is underneath. All right. So, hmm. Well, hmm, it doesn't really help because I thought you could blow it up with the explosive, but if you can't, you can't really do anything. Let's actually see. Alright, it goes like this. Let's save it. And see if it'll fall down. Alright, it did fall down. Let's see, does it, does it enable explosive? Or maybe it was just down, so it saved us down. So if I... Whoa! No, no, no! <laughs> and it just went around. So if I... Can I... Oh, I can move it up and down! I believe they... Made a change so player can interact and move the objects. 
But let's explosive parts interactive. So let's place place it here on the end. And let's grab our I believe this was durable weight. Which was like the heavy like super heavy. This is really heavy. Alright. Let's add some weight to it. So it really pushes down and let's see. Let's save it and see from the mine menu. Will it blow up? Come on! It doesn't. It just sticks. I can't really do anything. Maybe if I go in the... Oh, it looks like the character menu is actually totally somewhere else. I can't really do anything there. <laughs> yeah, I guess they have predict predicted everything. At, but yeah, it looks like... Oh, what? It looks like even if it hits, it won't blow up. Oh, I got another idea. Let's go in creative world. And let's make the setup there. I really hope the logic gates would work. Will work in the mine menu. Alright, so... If I just make some kind of... Platform with the spot gun. So this should be... Oh, they also upgraded the logic gate. Finally, it's back like it was before. Alright, it's also the description. Oh, I don't like the menu. It was really bad before. I believe we need NAND. Alright, and now... Let's save it. Now let's go in the mine menu. And load the creation. Let's fingers cross that it does work. Let's see. Alright. Oh! <gasps> no way! No way, no way! It will work! It will work! Alright. Let's put down this one. I thought it will be... It will be like static or something. Well, let, then let's just put two blocks here. And weld it on. Um... How to place it without it getting released. Maybe timer. Let's see. So it fills up and then let's... Whoa! Oh, we can't make connections here. Let's see. Actually, will it work here in main menu before we do anything? No, it doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> I thought my plan will work. So there is no, no reason to go into credit. I thought that timer. That's actually well. We can't really connect anything. I want to see if, and here it works. So yeah, it's pretty much that. Well, there's a small switch here that they have prevented the timer. No, but anything to work. It's just that, uh, like, static creation. Alright, but another thing what I want to test is I want to try to see if I can make a submarine where where I move the blocks, blocks into water and out of water to see if I can move without, delete, without the thrusters. And we are already at the water. How handy. Alright, and Let's see, how does it act now in the water? Well, it just sunk to the ground. Let's see, if I add another layer here, oh, I got idea. If I add another layer here. It start to go up. And if I enable, now it's Bottom heavy, which is good. Let's actually add another just to increase the effective eff effectiveness. All right, and now if I enable this one, come on, let's go in the water. It does move out, and now moves down. Or maybe 
yeah, maybe I am onto something. So imagine the bottom part is the submarine and I control, I can control the movement up and down. Let's see, is this the fifth level controller? Yeah, it's fifth level. Though I'm not quite sure. It does actually act different even if it's under water. So, so actually so cool that it somewhat works as a real water. I thought it would be like one giant mass, but it works. I just need to think a better way to implement this this new discovery. So yeah, I guess I will try to make some kind of submarine with this technique. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much everything I wanted to test in this update. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Leave a like if you liked what you saw. Subscribe and I'll see you in some other videos. Bye!